In this video, I want to define what we mean by an antiderivative, look at some notation for antiderivatives, some very basic properties, and uh, look at a few examples. So to get started, what I want to do is I want to let little f of x be a function. And I want to let capital F of x be a function that has the property that capital F prime of x is equal to little f of x. Under these circumstances, we call capital F of x an antiderivative. Let me make my handwriting just a bit better, an antiderivative of little f of x. And uh, we write capital F of x is equal to this funny elongated s of little f of x dx. And this notation is read as, uh, we, we can also call f of x, the integral of f of x with respect to the variable x. That's the long way of writing, uh, of reading what this notation actually is saying. And all it actually means is that uh, f of x is an antiderivative of little f of x. In other words, uh, this notation here is exactly equivalent to saying that capital F of x prime is equal to little f of x. So what I want to do is I want to look at a couple of very basic examples. So as my first example, if I let capital F of x be the sine of x, then I know that capital F of x is equal to the cosine of x. And so I can say that an antiderivative of the cosine of x is equal to the sine of x. Now, I do want to notice something else. If I let capital G of x be the sine of x plus, say, 17, then capital G prime of x is also equal to the cosine of x. So I can just as well write the cosine, the integral of the cosine of x dx could also be written as the sine of x plus 17. In other words, one antiderivative for the cosine would be capital F of x. Another antiderivative for the cosine would be g of x. And in fact, this generalizes. If capital F prime is equal to little f of x and capital G of x is equal to capital F plus some constant, then capital G prime is also equal to little f of x and capital F and capital G are both antiderivatives for little f of x. So in general, we're going to write that the antiderivative of little f of x with respect to x, in other words, the antiderivative of little f of x is going to be capital F plus any constant that you want to add, where capital F of x is any function that has derivative equal to little f of x. So in our particular example, we can write the antiderivative of the cosine of x can be thought of as the sine of x plus any constant that you want to add.